Joker Fully Ado has an ending that left many baffled, and it introduces a major Batman villain. Welcome to Haynes for Heroes, I'm Alex Haynes, and if it's a movie or TV show about superheroes, you know I'm all over it. Joker Fully Ado has such an all over the place ending, so let's break it down and try to make sense of it. Spoilers ahead. So let's start during the trial where Arthur fully embraces the persona of Joker, so he's feeling confident, he's riling up his supporters, but there's a shift when his old friend Gary Puddles takes the stand. If you don't remember Gary Puddles, he was in the first movie and he was one of Arthur's old co-workers, and he was there when Arthur murdered his other co-worker Randall. And Arthur spared Gary because he was always nice to him. In the courtroom, however, Joker seems to take more pleasure in humiliating and scaring Gary. Gary then begs Joker to stop this because he starts saying that this isn't Arthur because Arthur was never mean to him. He never laughed at him. He was the only person at work that was nice to him, much like what Arthur said to him in the first movie. At this point, you start to see a conflict within Arthur as he starts to question whether he really wants to be the Joker and cause this much pain to people, but he quickly pushes it down and just keeps on trudging. When he's returned to Arkham, Joker starts mocking the guards, who are already upset about comments that Joker made about them on television. They take him to the shower area where they then beat and S.A. Joker, and then they drag him back into his cell. One of his fellow inmates, Ricky, sees this, and he starts singing to show support for Joker, but then the guards drag Ricky out of his cell and choke him to death, while Joker just helplessly listens from his cell. It's at this point that I believe Arthur no longer wants to be Joker, because it's only hurting people the same way that he was always being hurt. Back in the trial, Arthur denounces the persona of Joker and confesses to all the people he murdered back in the first movie, including his mother. Disgusted by this reveal, Harley Quinn gets up and leaves the courtroom as she only loved Arthur because he was the Joker. The next day in trial, Arthur is found guilty of all murders and presumably sentenced to death, but before this could happen, a bomb goes off, killing a bunch of people in the courtroom and knocking Arthur unconscious. He wakes up in the chaos of the destroyed courtroom and he's found by two Joker supporters who put them into their car so they can help him escape. But Arthur wants nothing to do with being the Joker anymore, so he jumps out of the car and runs away from the clowns. Arthur then goes to the stairs where his transformation into the Joker began and he finds Harley Quinn. He tells her that he's free now and then they can go off and live a life together, but she's having none of it only loving Joker, and now that Arthur has thrown that all away, she wants nothing to do with him. She leaves him heartbroken on the stairs while the police arrive to arrest him. Now here is where the ending goes wild. Arthur is back in Arkham, and a guard comes up to him saying, hey, you got a visitor. So Arthur starts following this guard down a long hallway when he's stopped by a random inmate. The inmate starts to tell Arthur a joke, before ending it with, you get what you effin' deserve, a callback to what Joker said to Murray in the last movie. And then the inmate repeatedly stabs Arthur in the stump, killing him. As Arthur is dying, you can see in the background towards the top of the screen, and it's pretty blurry too, but you can see the inmate, he's just laughing maniacally, and he takes the knife and he starts cutting his mouth open, forming a smile. Now this confirms that the man who killed Arthur is the true Joker, and the one who will go on to face Batman whenever he decides to show up, and Arthur was only meant to inspire this true Joker. There's a theory that this true Joker is actually the Heath Ledger version of the Joker from the Dark Knight movie because of his cut up mouth. Personally, I'm not a fan of this ending because it's a step backwards from the story they were trying to tell. Like, I wish they would have just had Arthur become the Joker completely, you know, just fully embrace it because that, that's just where the movie was taking you. And then, you know, have him go out to Gotham City, cause a whole bunch of damage with Harley Quinn, and then have, like, the police get a lucky shot at him and then kill him that way. Then they can introduce this guy who's inspired to become the next Joker. But that's just my opinion. What do you think of Joker fully ado? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, send that like button to Arkham Asylum and then click on the boxes right here and I'll see you in a bit.